I honestly feel like it didn't hit us until probably a week or two in because obviously if something comes out right away, you don't know until it kind of sets in. And when we really started realizing that the show was so big is when people like Chrissy Teigen and Paula Abdul and just all these actual famous like celebrities were tweeting about it. And it was just like, oh my gosh, like people outside of the cheer world know us. Reese Witherspoon is also a fan. She even tweeted Coach Monica. The series follows the ups and downs of the team as they prep for their big competition in Daytona, including the injuries that had fans shocked at the intensity of the sport. They were there for four months, but this is edited down to, you know, six episodes. So I think you got to see the injuries, but you didn't really get to see the progressions that we do for safety. We also learned the personal stories of the cheerleaders and what they had to overcome to get to Navarro. Breakout star Jerry Harris lost his mom to cancer, and the cheer mom community started a fundraiser to make sure he could continue cheering. I felt like I was inspiring others um, by just simply telling my story and then seeing how I overcame a lot of obstacles to get to where I am today, and it just meant a lot to me. Just seeing them tell their stories and just some of the pain and stuff, it, really hit me. I was not expecting to be as emotional as I was because I lived it. Monica hopes that the show opens people's eyes to what cheering is really all about. There is a stereotype that it's just a cute little sideline thing. We also like to compete and you know just we just want to hope that people see that athleticism of these kids. You know you think it's a docuseries about cheerleading and then when we actually watched it it's just so much more.